Hello folks. So let's uh, let's talk about key apparel. Someone left a comment on my uh, on one of my videos um, talking about key or you know key as an alternative to Carhartt. Um, now I've got a couple of I've only got two uh, key pieces of apparel here. Now I'll, I'll talk about them here in a minute. Uh, key. I uh, started business in 1908 in Kansas, in Fort Scott, Kansas. And, uh, you know, when you, when you try to research key online as to where they're made, <laughs> you know, key's done a very good job of trying to hide where their products are made. You basically have to go to a store and look at their apparel and look at the tag. You're, you're not going to find it online. There is one reference uh, online by the Kansas Historical Society, but the article that they wrote was written in 2006, and it was modified in 2014. Uh, and it says on their historical article that their overalls are still manufactured at the Fort Scott plant. I don't believe that's true anymore. By the way, you're going to hear a bunch of noise. We got a windstorm coming in, and we got a major, uh, we got a major winter storm coming in, and we're going to have tons of snow and cold here coming up. So, <clears throat> please excuse the noise. But anyway, um, so you know, even though that was modified in 2014, I think they have since moved. Uh, they're manufacturing offshore, or at least Mexico and China. Now, I got on, I got on uh, Key's website, and nowhere on their website does it mention where their products are made. So then I went to their comment section, and I found one comment on one of their bib overalls where it said, his bib overalls were made in China. <clears throat> so... Take that for what you will. Now, moving on to the COVID-19 information, they do have, uh, Key has on their website, a section on COVID-19 information. <clears throat> and I'm gonna read that to you. This is what it says. Quote, as the nation works through the uncertainty and concern to run COVID-19, we want to reassure you that Key Industries is committed to caring for and serving our customers and employees. We want to be honest and transparent about what Key is doing and are here to answer any questions you may have. Well, you would have to call them to get any questions, I suppose. Since our primary focus has been and will continue to be the prevention of the spread of the virus through several measures taken between our warehouse operations Take note of that, warehouse operations, office, and retail partners nationwide. Nowhere does it mention, by the way, their manufacturing facility. So, to me, that's kind of a clue that uh, they don't have a manufacturing facility in the United States anymore. It's probably, well, I know for a fact that they've got one in Mexico and probably China. So, you know, take that as you will. Then it goes on to say, here is what we are doing. For our employees, we're following the CDC's guidance on COVID-19 precautions with increased cleaning and disinfecting throughout our facility. We are adjusting work schedules wherever possible to minimize contact. We have imposed travel restrictions on our entire company to protect not only our employees, but our customers during this time. We will continue to support our customers with quality product and on-time delivery. So no, that, and that's the end of their statement. So nowhere does it say whether or not they're imposing mandates on their employees. Um, I wish in their COVID-19 statement online that they would have, you know, spelled that out. Yay or nay, yes or no, yes we are or no we're not. But they didn't do that. So 
Can that be left open to interpretation? I don't know. I, I, uh, I'm not going to be quick to judge. Uh, I guess you just got to take your chances at this point. Um, I guess someone can call them if they want. Now, I am, no, I am in no way bashing the quality of key clothing. So, but I want to point out a couple of things. Now, these, these bib overalls, I bought these somewhere between 20 and 25 years ago at least. Um, and it says right on the tag, made in the USA. And they are high quality. These things are excellent and they're insulated. Man, these things will make you sweat on a cold day and they're very well made. I use them a lot. They've held up. You might be able to see on the camera, you know, they're getting kind of stained and greasy, but uh, you know, I use them in certain situations when it's really cold outside. And uh, they're excellent, they really are. And, but you know, remember this is 20, 25 years ago when they were still made in the USA. Are they made in the USA anymore? Well, there was that one comment online that said his were made in China. So I, I you know, I guess I could drive 140, 150 miles one way and go to the nearest uh, store that sells key and look at their tags and I mean, I guess, Next time I, I take that trip, I'll do that. I'm not going to take that trip just to look at a bunch of tags and clothing. I mean, I next time I go in uh, to the city, I'll, uh, I'll make a point of looking that up. Now, the last time I went shopping, um, which was about three, four months ago now, I guess. It's the last time I went on the long journey to the city. I did buy a pair of key pants. And actually they're pretty good quality and they're not really that expensive. They're triple stitched on the outer and inner seams. They got lots of pockets. You look at the tag, made in Mexico. I mean, that's halfway tolerable. It's better than China, if you ask me. Um, you know, and the quality for the price is really not that bad. The material is, I'm not going to say it's super thick, but it's not super thin either. I mean, it's, it's, it's about average for a cheap pair of pants. But, you know, the stitching is all there. You know, it's all triple stitched. You know, uh, I don't think they're going to last for a very long time because, I mean, it's not a super heavy weight denim. But, you know, I mean... I think I paid 25 bucks for these. So I mean, for the price, they're not that bad. And, and wearing them, they're actually pretty soft. They're pretty comfortable pants, actually. So, you know, I have no complaints about key quality. Um, and, I, and I think they have different ranges of prices and weight materials. So I think you can get a heavier denim and pay a little bit more money. And I know that they make, uh, you know, uh, firm duck type stuff. I don't know the quality yet. I'm planning on buying a pair just to try them out. Um, I'll probably order them online and have them delivered, um, which I normally don't do. I'd rather go in and try them on at a store. But again, I'm not going to make that 140, 150 mile trip uh, unless I really need to go in there for something important, you know. But anyway, that's the only two pieces of key clothing that I have. And, you know, they're, they're not bad, really. Uh, my overall thoughts, I think they're being, I won't say deceptive, but I think that they're trying to hide, at least on their website and online, where their stuff is made. And you know, you're gonna find that out when you go to the store and look at the tag, so they might as well just be upfront about it, you know? Um, are they being deceptive about whether or not they're mandating their employees? I don't know. I I mean, it doesn't say it online, you know, and they say online they wanna be honest about it, but yet they didn't say, yes, we are, or no, we're not. 
mandating our employees. So I guess you'll have to, you know, figure that out, you know, on your own, whether or not you want to support that company. I'm not going to say boycott them. I'll, I'll probably buy some of their clothing, you know, as my Carhartt stuff wears out. Um, I did notice one other thing, though. In the fall of 2021, they came out with their unisex collection. So make of that what you will. Anyway, uh, I don't know. I'm on the fence about Key. I really am. I'm on the fence about them. You know, there are companies out there that have 100% made in the USA clothing with made out of cloth that's 100% USA made, but you're going to pay for that. You're going to pay a premium price for that. There's just no doubt about it. Um, some, some clothing manufacturers are made in Mexico, and I don't necessarily have a problem with that. I, I, I wish they were made in the USA, but it's still better than China, you know? So you have to weigh your options there. Um, so I'm kind of on the fence about key. I might, I'm thinking about maybe buying their firm duck, uh, at least one pair of their firm duck. I'll order them online. And, and it's more out of curiosity than anything. I just want to try them out and, uh, see how they fit, you know, and see if I like them. Um, if they're pretty good quality, you know, I, I might keep purchasing from them. And thus I find out they mandated their employees and I still haven't found any information on that only from only by what they've written online about the measures that they're taking, which do, do not include mandating their employees. So I'm, I'm, you know, uh, I'm not quick to judge. I, uh, you know, I'm going to say right now that they're probably not, um, mandating their employees. So, um, you know, you might want to try calling them and ask them. I might even do that. I don't know. But, you know, I'm going to keep a pretty open mind about, about that. So that's all I have, folks. Talk to you later.